It's time to get some revenge, and I don't mean WCW NWO revenge on the N64, no, I mean WrestleMania 19 revenge mode here on the GameCube. What's good, internet? My name is Attack Slug, and we're gonna play some revenge mode today. And who, you might ask, wants some revenge? I think Brock Lesnar wants some revenge. Vince gave us strict orders to escort you off the premises. Yeah. Now that your contract's terminated, make sure you don't show your face around here again, unless you want another beat. But I'm Brock Lesnar. Follow me. Do I have I see to? revenge in your eyes. Maybe we can help each other out. See, I can offer you a chance to get back at the very man who ruined your career. I devised a plan to hit him where he will feel it the most. WrestleMania 19. Yeah. And if WrestleMania doesn't take place, then Vince will be ruined forever. Are forever, we on the same ever? page? Good. There are several missions you need to carry out. Each one will deliver a devastating blow to Vince's WrestleMania plans. You will be compensated with cash for each objective you complete. This contract will guarantee your payments. And we all know Brock Lesnar likes money. So I'm going to start in the shopping mall, because I think if you told me that Brock Lesnar attacked mall security, I would believe you. That sounds like a thing he would do. Anyhow, welcome to a fine Sunday here on the channel, on the show. I honestly don't have any real plans for this week. Uh, I am taking off a, a day off tomorrow. And look at Brock looking all super jacked. Good God almighty. Look at that boy. Look at that boy. Oh, crap. You're... Here we go. Here we go. This mall security is not having it. I'm like, look, if you're mall security and there's Brock Lesnar, you run away. You go in the other direction. It's Brock Lesnar, man. Come on now. Come on. Anyhow, we are here. There are things to discuss that I have not discussed on this channel yet, like the draft on SmackDown. Knockout. Busted him open. Brock's a beast. Brock's a beast. He bounce around now. Yeah. Doing that bouncer boy. Doing that bouncer boy. Okay. Tell me who next. Tell me. Oh, a clothesline from a security guy? Sure. I believe that. I believe that. Yeah. So the draft was terrible. And for a couple of reasons. Number one, if you were on the internet on Friday night and you happened to see the article on WWE.com that went up on like Thursday, they 100% spoiled the order of the draft for, I guess, 98% of that. They eventually... Changed it up a little bit, but most of that draft was spoiled because they're idiots, and it was the exact same order. F5! F5! On mall security! Boom! Hilarious. Hilarious. So yeah, they totally botched that, and it was the right- and so if you look at, the, at that list, right, and you were like, man, but- is he not, not, not dead yet? Are you not, not, not dead yet? Come on now. Toss you around. There's a broom here somewhere. There is an object to pick up here. I think it's X to pick things up. Pick it up, Brock. Hey, guy. I'm so slow. I'm so slow. Hit him with it. Bust him open with it. The end of that broom. Bust the man wide open. So, yeah. If you follow that, that, that list, right? You were like, well, you can predict. Raw, Smackdown. Raw, Smackdown. Like, that was all super... Super... Super, uh, on the nose. Guys and girls still ended up on the shows you thought they would end up on because of how that list was, because that was not going to change, right? So, changing up the order of that, of that announcement late into that show. There we go. The Crimson Mask. Did not really fix that problem. It was really funny. Really funny. Brock and run! And Brock and pound. Wow! Wow! TKO on that guy. Good God. Brock is a beast. Just an absolute beast. Oh, it's Devon. Testify. Testify. Why is Devon here instead of a mall, a mall sec security guy? Why is why is Devon working mall security? I don't know. Anyhow, we're still here. And Devon going to get that F5 pretty quickly here. Pretty quickly. So, for the Devon. So yeah, that aspect of the draft was terrible, right? But also, the actual draft was terrible because of how they did it. Think of any other draft. 
in any other era uh, of wrestling, and it was guys that went from one brand to the other. They would all sit in a room with their shirts on, blue, red and blue, and then they would get drafted onto a different show. And it was a big deal when it happened. This draft was like, oh, Roman Reigns is drafted to SmackDown. And it's like, bro, he's already on SmackDown. So many draft picks are guys who were already on the show they were on. Why did you even bother doing it like that? And they had this really fake presentation of, oh, the Fox team and the USA team are here and they're cheering for their guys and it was just the dumbest, like, it almost got into satire territory where it was almost funny, but yeah, it was just bad. It was a bad draft. It was a bad draft, so, uh, was not feeling that at all in any real way. I'm like, what are you even doing with this draft? Like, I was just so, so disappointed in what they did with that draft, so... In any event, we're only halfway done, because Raw is happening tomorrow, and F5 is happening to Devon, and I knocked you out with the F5. Good God Almighty. Mission complete. Yeah, I did it. It's Brocktober after all. Oh, that's a scary face. Don't, don't, chill Brock, chill. I had you win. Relax. Okay, now we'll go to the construction site and murder some workers, I guess. Brock here about to construct some things. So yeah, the overall draft was just trash, right? Did not, did not like it at all. Uh, was not feeling it at all. And uh, I'm not looking forward to Raw because it's going to be more of that. And that was just not what I wanted from a draft. You want to have guys change brands for a draft, not announce guys and girls to be like, oh, they're on the same brand, but they got drafted to Fox or, Sma or USA, and I'm like, yeah, but who cares? Like, they're already there. I do not care in the least. So, oh, no, reverse, reverse, Brock, reverse. Right trigger. It's going to be on Y or on Triangle or 2K20. That's a whole thing, but whatever, man. Whatever. So, I, sh I shouldn't be, I should be X to pick him up. And then it's A and Y to Irish Whip. And I keep holding it for too long and doing that. It is just simply A and Y to Irish Whip. Now then, what else happened on that episode of SmackDown for the draft? That is the topic of discussion here. And that is Bailey does the full on heel turn. That was a head stop on the face. Good God. Get out of here. So... Full on Bailey heel turn. She murdered the Bailey buddies, which was great. Uh, she cut her hair, which was the first indication. Of, oh, she's doing the full on heel turn. Good God, if she has a haircut, like that's always an indication of either a face or heel turn when you change up your look to that amount of effect. Especially when so much of her gimmick is doing uh, the whole thing with the uh, scrunchie and you know tightening the scrunchie. That's a big part of her gimmick, and it's gone now. With this short bob haircut. So kudos on that. Just uh, going all in on heel Bailey. Like granted I did like having. Oh crap. Oh no. No Brock. No. No Brock. No. Don't you do it. Don't you do it. I'm Brock Lesnar. You can't do this to me. Ha ha. Boot to face. So what do you. No Brock. He's just showing off now folks. He's just showing off. Woo. Stop you till you die. And, like, literally murdering the man. But it's okay, because you're Brock Lesnar, so... What else is new? Right? So, yeah, I do like having heels who think they're faces. I think that's always funny to me. Like, a Kurt Angle or a mid-90s Bob Backlund. I do enjoy that. But, sure. You want to have full-on heel Bailey, man. Go for it. She is your new women's champion beating Charlotte. And that, to me, just says, man, they really want to get... Charlotte, to that 16 times when Ric Flair is still here with us. They want to have the first ever father-daughter 16-time, you know, champion thing to happen. So they are getting that belt off her, and then back on her. And then off and then on, on and off. It, yeah, it's a whole thing, right? So there was that. You had one more time on SmackDown with Seth and The Fiend. I could not believe they did that after the disastrous Hell in the Cell 
thing that everybody hated. So, hey, here's more Seth. Oh, no! Oh, no! Here's more Seth and the Fiend. And I'm like, are you seriously going to seriously do more of that? But, hey, Bray got drafted to SmackDown. So that was the last time for at least the, you know, time being, we're going to see Seth and the Fiend in the same place. Woo! At the same time. So, thankful for that, right? Thankful for, for that. We got one more to go here for your boy. Yeah, doing a little dance. Uh, so, that to me says, with the signing now of Cain Velasquez, who is challenging Brock Lesnar for the title at Crown Jewel, and the fact that supposedly Kane has signed a multi-year deal, which to me says, hey, Kane, get that knee surgery. You're going to need it, right? That to me says Roman is not getting anywhere near the title anytime soon. And if that is the case, then who, now that Roman is done with Rowan and Harper, who does he feud with? I think Bray Wyatt and The Fiend, and especially since The Fiend interrupted Seth and Roman there on that show, makes all the sense in the world. So we're going to see Roman Reigns, Bray Wyatt, one more time, I think, on SmackDown here. Whoa, all the way up. Didn't mean to do that, but hey, it happened. Uh, I think that makes sense for Roman's feud on SmackDown. Just all the way, man. You're gone. You're done. Enjoy. And after all that hard work, Lesnar will enjoy a delicious Jimmy John's sandwich. All right, we also got a parking lot here. Lay the SmackDown on their vehicles and slow down the trucking crew. Destroy the cars in Vince's parking lot. I can do that. I can do that. Honestly, I was originally going to use... Chris Jericho in this mode for, for this video, but then it was like, oh wait, his finisher is not an impact finisher. I need an impact finisher. Like his finisher is the walls of Jericho, right? It, this was this game was before the Code Breaker, so that's a problem. That's a problem. Anyhow, on the car, no, on the car, fool, you fool, fly, you fool, with the WWE jacket on, right? So yeah, we got Cain Velasquez supposedly signing a multi-year deal. And that's fine for what it is. Like, more more part-time guys who used to work at UFC. All right, sure. You, they supposedly signed, uh... Climb the car, Brock. I know you can do it. They supposedly signed Ronda Rousey to a multi-year deal. Where has she been? Right? Where has she been? Uh, oh, I can just kick... I can just do this. I can just do this. Yeah, here we go. Frickin' the car. Frickin' the car. Dan, dan. Good times. This is some Street Fighter sh going on right now. I tell you what. I tell you what. Anyhow, uh, this week's AEW After Dark is going to have Taz on commentary. So I guess look forward to that in Philly, which, you know, that all makes a lot of sense to me. Good stuff there. Raw on Monday will supposedly feature Sasha Banks versus Becky Lynch uh, to see who is the first draft pick for Raw. And that's fine, right? Um, but I'm just kind of curious, uh, since Sasha was supposedly injured, supposedly, and, uh, what they're gonna do there with that. Can I climb this car? Just, yeah, alright. Now I'm on the car. I, I don't understand. I'm dancing the car now. I'm gonna dance on the car now. Yeah. Doing my little dance. Yeah, on the car. Try and stop me. Now then, join me up here. Join me as I dance on this car. Join me. It's good times. I have to... There's more guys than this. Like, I'm dying on the first guy here is a problem and a half. Get into, like, how do I get him on the car? Pick him up. Onto the car. There. Finally. Finally. There. Smash. That took way too long. Where is the next car? Get off the car, Brock. R use the run button, Brock. There you go. There you go. Awkward. I guess it's the way to say this. This, this. this game is awkward. Choke him out. Choke him out. All right, I'm going to F5 you onto this car, bro. You're getting F5 onto this car. It's going to happen. Ah, or, or that's going to happen. Either way, pick your poison. Here we go. Yep, smashing up this uh, minivan real nice. Bro, get up. Bro, get up. Busted him open. Good God almighty. That man's bleeding. The Crimson Mask. You can't. That's not going to hurt the car. But Chuck around, Brock, what are you doing? It's the wrong move. 
No, don't go nowhere. Here we go. What? Reversal. Reversal. How dare you, sir? How dare you, sir? Here we go. F5 onto the car. Nope. German suplex onto the car is fine, too. Like, look, man. I'll take what I can get. Bust him over with the German on the car. I wanted to do that five, but he was not facing the right way. Get off the car, Brock. This camera is terrible. Like, legitimately terrible. Let's go find another car to smash. That's not super high. Three minutes. Did someone say three minutes? Oh, here we go. Yes, no, drop him, Brock. I got places to go. I got places to be. Here we go. Here we go. All right. Drop. Drop. Okay. This car is good. This guy should just follow me down here and we'll be... We'll be okay. Again, this, this camera is... No! Bro. It's not what I wanted to happen. Get on this car. Get on this car. Go! Brock, follow him. Get your finisher. Pick him up. German him on the car. And there. Ding, 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 gloom. Your boy. Cleared it. It took me forever to do that. So, a lot of cuts in that video, but whatever, man. Anyhow, that's revenge mode. If you really want to see more, leave a like, leave a comment, let me know. But I am off tomorrow. No videos tomorrow, obviously. A lot of 2K20 footage hitting from everybody else here on YouTube. But I'm a tax slug. Thanks for watching. More videos on this channel. See you next time. And I'm out.